Fox are a bunch of dumbass buttholes! Fantastic Four stars Miles Teller, Michael B. Jordan, and others. A group of scientists are teleported to an alternate dimension where they accidentally gain superpowers or disabilities. Josh Trank directed Fantastic Four. He directed Chronicle, which is a damn good movie. If you're a superhero fan, chances are you've seen Chronicle. In fact, this is similar to Chronicle. It's a bloated, messy version of Chronicle. This is the fourth Fantastic Four movie. It's a reboot to the 2005 movie. The first movie is a 90s movie. I heard it's so bad it's good. Well, I heard it's awful pure. Well, it should be awful because it was made by Roger Corman, the B-movie Kim. It was released straight to VHS. I originally heard it was never officially released. I heard it's on YouTube, but it doesn't matter. I'll never watch it. I was never interested in watching it. I was never excited for Fantastic Four. I was only curious. I'm not a huge comic book reader. I didn't like the previous movies. Well, I originally thought they were decent due to ignorance. I wasn't surprised to hear that this movie was universally hated. It received negative reviews. Hardly anyone liked it. I watched two reviews, Lay Heather and Chris Tuckman. Chris was pissed. He tore this movie a new asshole. I was compelled to share his review on social media. So yeah, my expectations were really low or they were dead. Yeah, I had no expectations whatsoever. I'm not surprised I hated this movie. I'm glad I got a free movie. Fantastic Four really sucked. It's lame. It's disappointing. It's lifeless. It's soulless. It's hollow as fuck. Fox obviously didn't care about making a good movie. Maybe they really do care. They just wanted to make a quick buck. Some dollars. They just wanted to set up a franchise. It's like with uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. However, that movie was fun, okay? It was flawed, sure, but it's fun. I never read the comics, but I knew obviously they're lighthearted. Before this movie came out, I actually didn't mind them taking the, the dark gritty approach. I was thinking, hey, it could work. After watching this movie, yeah, I agree. It was a dumb idea. They really sucked out all the life and joy. Watching this movie was like watching a depressed human or an animal. Like a depressed dog because he was neutered. Dr. Doom is an awful villain. I mean, his appearance specifically. He looks awful. He looks cartoonish. He reminds me of the Putty Man and Power Rangers. Power Rangers is so fucking cheesy, but I digress. Why was he designed this way? Why was this design approved? Why did Josh Trank approve of this design? I mean, did he approve it at all? Was he fucking high? I heard he, he's a fucking drug user. He wasn't cooperative on the set, so... Just, what the fuck, man? Dr. Doom was poorly written. He's a lonely, angry, antisocial blogger and scientist. He wants to destroy humanity simply because he's angry and delusional or insane. You guys pushed me around for the last time. You really fucked me a lot. Therefore, I'm going to crush your skulls. Mm. Look at this picture. He has boobs, for God's sakes. Was this a joke? Was this serious? Well, good thing it wasn't approved. Oh, no, wait. That design is way better than what we got in the movie. The boobs easily could have been removed. Well, good thing he, he doesn't have any boobs in the movie. Given any supervillain boobs would be kind of like giving Batman a copies or a cock. Oh, no, wait. That actually happened. The plot was weak and messy. I mean, what happened? Was the script written under two hours? Was it written in a truck in haze? I heard the movie had some reshoots and the third act was heavily re-edited. Apparently, the original version was somehow worse. Was it much longer, so slow? I heard Fox uh, made Josh Trank cut out three action scenes. I find that hard to believe. If the opposite was reported, I would have believed that. The effects are awful. They're like 90s effects. What happened? Where did the money go? Hookers and drugs? Somebody's dick surgery? Just why? Like, this is weird, man. This reminds me of the first G.I. Joe movie. Expensive movie. The effects are god awful. Fantastic Four gets an F. It's awful. It's atrocious. It's a piece of fucking shit. Let me know if you've seen Fantastic Four. I'm not going to bother asking if you like it or hate it. Everybody hates it. I'd like to give the unusual suspect a shout out. He's a comedian, he's a movie reviewer, he's friggin' hilarious. He loves dark humor, I do too. He used a lot of gun jokes. Maybe some people are tired of it. He's reviewed the Home Alone series, the Spider-Man series, and the Harry Potter series. He's reviewed the Phantom Mass video game, hilarious review. He's going to review the movie nets, it should be fun. If you love the Nostalgia Critic, you should check him out. As always, thanks for watching guys. I hope my huge rant didn't annoy you. Deadpool should be way better than Fantastic Four. I'll talk to you later.